Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DSEI London. We are here at the Canadian Pavilion, and we have something very interesting we are seeing. It is a drone with two rotors, and uh, a cargo carrying capacity uh, seems like you know it's an elongated structure. In any case, drone with rotors are very few in the world, and this is a real surprise and a real beauty to see. Yeah, it's very interesting, and we have with us Andy Buck, the vice president for uh, AV Drone Aerospace, the company which makes this drone. Welcome, Andy, to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here with us. Thank you very much. And we would like to know about this drone which you have just above you. What is it? You know, what is it? It's so beautiful. What is it? Sure. Um, so this is the Avadrone Aerospace 210 TL. Uh, it is uh, specifically designed for cargo and logistics deliveries. Uh, it's very simple to operate. All of the flight controls are handled on board. Uh, the operator simply plans out a route on a map-based application. Uh, it gives it its waypoints and where the cargo is to be delivered and the system autonomously goes and drops the cargo at that location. It's capable of lifting 16 kilograms worth of uh, payload. Um, as you can see, it, it's a tandem rotor craft. And it's extremely stable, and it's about the most efficient design that you can get in a uh, helicopter-style UAV. So it's made a totally made in Canada project, absolutely? Yes, all, all entirely made in Canada, including all of the software, hardware, and mechanics. Wonderful. And, uh, you know, uh, my next question to you would be, is it a commercial application or you have all military applications in it? Yeah, so it's dual use and so it has defense applications for logistics as well as commercial applications as well. And uh, do the Canadian forces have it with them? Uh, the Canadian forces are operating some of these, yes. So when you talk, say, Canadian forces, uh, do you mean the Canadian Army, Navy, Air Force? Uh, don't generally get into the specifics of which users, but, uh, but yeah, it's in, in use uh, in Canada. And what about the Homeland Security? Um, at the moment, in, in Canada, we don't have a separate Homeland Security Force, uh, but it is in use with uh, the armed forces. For the rest of the world, do you uh, have an export market which is very strong at the moment? We do have an export market, uh, primarily that's in the commercial um, side of things, but here at DSEI is uh, part of our uh, expanding that network and the military side of things. And, to, to reach out to some international uh, governments as well. And, uh, you know, at the moment, do you have an existing export market? Do you have people around the world flying it? Correct, we do. You do? Yes. So, uh, is it for a commercial use or a military use? Uh, commercial use, currently. Commercial yeah. use. Yeah. So, commercial use would be which industry? I mean, if you could just specify. Sure, yeah. So, we have, uh, we have customers doing uh, just general logistics. Uh, there's quite a bit of use in the medical space as well as oil and gas, mining, lots of, lots of different applications. And uh, what are your expansion plans for it? I don't see things uh, like it. At, I mean, I've been traveling to all shows. And uh, so do you have a very strong expansion plan for the Asian, South Asian? You know, they are very uh, heavily populated areas where such sort of a thing could work wonders. Do you have a market plan for high growth regions? Absolutely, and we do. So our, our international strategy primarily makes use of uh, resellers and partners um, so we can have a local presence in those markets. Um, the goal there is really to have uh, local companies that um, we partner with that can support the local users, uh, help with training, uh, you know, the logistics of getting the drones out and in, in, in use, um, as well as maintenance and repairs. Right, and uh, how has been the footfall been for you here? It's been great. We've had a really great reception to the products here. Um, a lot of interest, uh, which has been great. So it'll be a busy few weeks following up after the show. Thank you so much, Andy. Wonderful to have spoken with you. And you have a great product, which we can see. I really hope that it goes to more and more countries and solves their problems. It's a great thing to have. Thank you. Thank you.